Hey guys, what's going on? So today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to color grade your Mavic Pro footage. I've had a bunch of requests on this topic, so I'm going to put this video together and hopefully it will give you some guidance into how to grade your footage, as well as I'm going to provide a link in the description below with all the clips I'm showing you today so that you can practice color grading um, these clips right now before your Mavic comes or before you get one. I prefer recording in the art mode with your sharpness down at minus one because it's not too flat. And with the Mavic Pro, there's a high level of compression with the footage. So color grading is tough when you're shooting the log mode. Not saying that you can't do it. I've edited a lot of log footage out of the DJI cameras and you can still color grade them. But art gives you just a little bit more room to work with because you're having to push the image around a little bit less. So let's get into how you start with this footage. So here's the clips that we are uh, gonna play with today. As you can see, there's a range of shots. You know, a couple of them are high contrast scenes. And then, you know, we have the sun directly on the image here. This is just a pretty flat image of the ocean. And then this, as you can see, it spins around so you get all levels of contrast. So you go from bright, super dark, super high contrasted. On the screen here on my left, you're gonna see my waveform and I'm using the Luma. So what this does is it's showing you all your values of light from zero, which is black, to 100, which is white. So as you can see here in this image, the sun is completely blowing out, and on the waveform, you see that bright line right at the top? That means you're clipping the image, so there's no information there. There's nothing you can do. This image, there's a lot of really crushed blacks, and you can see that they're touching zero. When you're shooting most situations, you want to try and preserve the highlights, because once you clip your highlights, there's no information there. There's nothing you can do to color grade that to bring it back. And you also don't want to crush everything to black, because there'll be no way to bring it back from blacks either, especially with this high level of compression on these cameras. So basically, you want your waveform to be right in the middle so that you have some range to go up and down with your lights and your darks. And that will give you the room you need to color grade. So I use Color Finale. It's an awesome color correcting plugin that allows you to do a ton of different color grading options inside Final Cut. I'm gonna be playing with the blacks, the mids, and the highlights, and then the saturation, and then I'm gonna add a LUT to it. That's my workflow to do a quick grade, get a better look to the image, and move on to the next one. So let's just get into it. Let's take our blacks, and you can see as I pull the blacks down, once they hit this bottom here, you're crushing the black, so it's turning just super dark. So what I tend to do is bring my blacks down, get them close to zero. I don't necessarily need them. You know, it's starting to get crushed over here. All right, and then I'll bring up my highlights, and you can see as you get to the top, they're clipping. And then your mids will control the whole middle of the image. So I like to bring mine down. Somewhere there's a good start. So you can already see the image is starting to look better. It's you know, it's very flat when you start. What I'm doing is essentially increasing the contrast, but I'm adjusting it. I'm not just using a contrast slider that says add more contrast. I'm, we're doing it manually so that we can pick apart which sections of the image that we want more contrast on and where we want the mids to lie when you're adding contrast. Also, when you add contrast, the saturation starts to get bumped up. We can bump this up even more if you want, or you can dial it back depending on what you want to do with your image. So I'm gonna leave it in the middle. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a LUT. So I've got this A7S LUT that I really like. Uh, I've added a link in this description below. What this does is it gives you more of a cinematic image. So the blues will turn very blue and the, the, you know, the oranges and the yellows will get more orange and yellow. So you can see what I've done here. Taking this, it's added contrast. It's given that you know, nice little punch to the image. And what, from here, what I'll do is I'll dial pack the opacity of that LUT. So I don't necessarily want to go full on with the LUT at 100%. So I usually dial it back somewhere in like the 50, go back to the color wheel. I might, from here, I'll dial back the mids. And there we go. So now there is my shot. 
All right, guys, here's the before and after. You can see the huge difference it makes to do some color grading to your footage. It instantly gives it that pop. And now if you try to do this in camera with the Mavic, there are settings for like vivid and to boost saturation and boost contrast. I would not recommend that. You can see my other video I've posted. I'll put a link in the description below where I show you every setting on the Mavic Pro. And as soon as you start doing that kind of color grading in camera, you start destroying the image and it looks horrible. So I always prefer to shoot flatter in camera, give it an, a little color grade in post. Okay, so now that we have this one color graded, what we're gonna do is I just copied all these clips and added this base color grade to them. Uh, so my process from here is, you know, once I have my look and what I like, I'll copy it to all the clips and then just dial it in on a clip by clip basis. So this one's higher contrast. We're going to have to go in and tweak it. We will go to color wheels and you can see that where this image lies on the, the waveform. I'm going to bring up some of those blacks and it's more the mids I'm going to This is a higher contrast scene, so the blacks are really going to be crushed in it. On this one, it looks pretty good. What we can do is maybe add a little bit more contrast. And then this one here. So when you have a shot like this that has going from you know, super contrasted back to super bright, what I tend to do is look at where I want the color grade to be dialed in the most. So let's say like right around here. So this is similar to that first shot that we graded. I think it looks pretty good. I might just dial these in a little bit. As you do this more and more, start paying attention to this waveform and really using it as a guide as your color grading. It's gonna be one of your best friends just because being able to see the highlights and seeing able be, being able to see the darks uh, makes a huge difference when you're, you're grading footage. Especially doing quick grades like this where you just wanna go in, make sure the contrast is good, add some saturation, add a lot, and move on. Uh, you're not taking like tons of time to do your color grade. This is more, you know, quick grades, make the footage out of the camera look a lot better, and then move on. So I think overall it looks pretty good. When you fly around this side, you're gonna have those highlights blow out and the darks are gonna get really black because we've crushed it a little bit. However, um, I don't mind that look because the shot overall looks very good. So what you could do is you could dial in a portion of the shot and keyframe you know, different looks as the shot's rotating around and have it fade from one to the next. All right guys, thanks for watching. I hope that helped you and gave you some general guidance on you know where to start with mavic pro footage make sure you subscribe i got lots of more videos coming out we got some really cool adventures coming up and the mavic is going to be coming with me the whole time subscribe check us out on social media and uh, we'll see you on the next one